Hey guys, we're here playing Interloper, and this is a new beta RTS game that's supposed to be five minutes or less. So it's a pretty cool concept. It's trying to streamline the genre and get rid of a lot of the kind of overhead you might have, like the the opening build orders maybe are, are slow. Nothing really happens for the first, you know, five minutes of a StarCraft game. And this one, the idea is you're going to try to get into the action right off the bat. So I won't talk about everything that's in the game. You can check out their site if you want to know more about the about the, the mechanics of it. But the really quick overview is that it's territory control. This guy is your hero. He runs around and he can claim land for you. And he can claim the buildings for you. And the buildings... Uh, there's these make power, power fuels your factories, and then your factories um, produce drones for you, which are actually like zerglings. They're, they're a basic combat unit. Uh, so these guys block enemy movement, and they can fight each other to trade one for one kind of idea. Your stuff needs to be connected by pipes to work, or by like a line of of your territory. So. This doesn't work until it's connected via uh, my ping stuff to the power source. And you're trying to win by taking over three quarters of the map, which usually just means crushing your opponent's production. Like right now, he's got no guys coming out. He's falling far behind, and he will probably lose by, by about two minutes or three minutes. So the more power you have attached to your, your factory, the faster it'll build, up to three. So this is now producing three times as fast because I've got three power attached to it. So guarding your power is really important so they don't just walk in and take it over. They can't enter the space where your workers are so that's and I can't go in here it's for the same reason but if I want to say go through here I can use one of my guys to just trade off with this worker bam they're dead and I can move through and start claiming more territory. So you want to use your worker, or you want to use your hero guy along with a bunch of zerglings to clear space. This is a wall. I can't move through it, but if I destroy it, then I can. It'll rebuild in my color, which is pretty nice. So if you see down here, he's cut off my production here again, but that's fine. We're so far ahead now that he's should basically concede. But this guy, I've played him a few times. He, does, he goes to the bitter end. I'll usually concede if I'm far behind, but whatever. He's still trying to poke around and see if he can get any more inroads, but without any units, you can't actually go by even just one little guy here. This bar in the corner shows my progress towards winning the game when my pink reaches these white bars. Uh, that's game, so... I more or less just need to pin him in by putting dudes at every junction where he, he can move in, and then he can't get any more territory. Uh, so I'll talk about a little bit about this since kind of waiting. This is an upgrade location. You can put your workers here and you can turn two guys into three different advanced units. So this is a defensive only unit. It cannot attack, but it has three hit points so it can defend against three drones that come in and trade with, with them. So he's a good way to basically get value when you're defending. Uh, this is a sniper. Sniper is pretty cool. He has can shoot line of sight so you can the pink shows where you can shoot which is a really nice little way to have visibility on it and just pew he'll kill a unit he'll kill a drone sorry he would only take one third of this guy's health down because this guy's got three points and then he's got a cooldown where he has to recharge um, and one kind of neat feature is that you cannot tell him to hold fire if he has a target he'll just fire at it and that means that if you want to bait an enemy sniper, you can just put like a guy out into the line of fire, and then when they shoot him, you can sneak around and, and shoot him yourself. So that's a neat little mechanic that's kind of only possible because you're removing the, the ability to have a hold fire command. Now the third advanced unit is a called the destroyer. He can just shoot things, so he can shoot the walls to break them down. He can shoot enemy drones, and he regenerates his three health, which is means if you can shoot things and run away, you can recharge and then you can come back and then you can shoot more things. But he's the most expensive at costing four drones. So that's basically it for the game. 
Uh, it, it is about a five minute RTS. So he actually won five minutes, but I could have beat him a few minutes earlier because he was not very good. So check the site out if you're curious about any more detail. That's a good overview of what the game is about. You can shift click to queue your stuff up like usual. Uh, there's hotkeys like one selects your sentinel. There's, there's a few things that aren't immediately obvious, but overall if you've played any RTS you'll find this to be very approachable. And maybe if you haven't played many RTS then well, you're gonna get crushed by anybody knows what you're doing. That's a fact. But you can play against the against the AI and maybe learn the controls or find a friend maybe. Either way. So quite a neat game. It's in the beta for this weekend only. I'm not sure when it'll be open for everybody, but it's worth checking out. Quite like it. Uh, we'll see if he plays again. If he doesn't, I'll just talk for a little bit and then we'll go back to lobby. He disconnected, that's fine. So yeah, check the game out. It's pretty cool. Stay tuned for a couple more videos of playing the game.